Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Mew and Llama here bringing you another video today. Today's video is going to be a, another how-to video basically explaining how I toggle. I will show you guys here real quick how I toggle between my two crosshairs here. For those of you that watch a live stream, you guys see me when I play CS. I toggle between this crosshair for landing nades that are, you know, rather difficult or whatever to line up to my standard crosshair right here. So basically today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do that. All right, so first things first, you're going to go to crash this crosshair generator i'm gonna have the link in the description to that if you don't ha already have it so you guys can uh, follow along with this video uh, basically first thing you're gonna do is once you get in here if you've never created a crosshair before or you already have your crosshair either or just go into this this here and then we're gonna we're gonna find a crosshair that works for us we've got an entire plethora of templates here if you guys want to use that if not you can go over here and you can use the all of these buttons over here to figure out what type of crosshair works best for you so once you figure that out we're gonna go over here I'm gonna make another one uh, let's go uh, cold there sure why not all right so we're gonna so say this is the crosshair that I want we're gonna go over here to share crosshair it's gonna bring up your console right here so this is your current crosshair this is the crosshair that you have right now so what, what I'm gonna have you do once you have your crosshair I want you to right click and click copy or you can press Control C once you've highlighted it either or works just fine so once you've copied it we're gonna go over here and it's gonna be the complicated part but if you follow along it's gonna be super easy I promise alright so we're gonna go to our file I've already got it pulled up I will go through and show you guys how to get to this so you're gonna go to your file Explorer you're gonna go to your C Drive you're gonna go to program files make sure it's the x86 this is where steam is gonna be located so you're gonna double click there you're gonna go down to steam all the way down it's in alphabetical order so steam is at the s and then you're going to go down to steam apps right here you're going to click through to that you're going to go to common and then you're going to find counter-strike global offensive and then you're going to click on csgo and then cfg this is going to be your config file this is where all of your counter-strike configurations are as you can see all i have all the all of my stuff here all right so anyway i already have this in here but go ahead and create yourself a new text document it just leave it blank for now uh, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna open this up now me I have already pasted this in here but this is gonna be blank for you so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit control V or right click paste your crosshair in here all right once you've done that I want you to click save as and then for the sake of the video we're just gonna make this pretty simple here you're gonna click on all files and then you're gonna name it whatever you want I'm gonna name it crosshair as you can see I already have one and two these are mine so we're just gonna name this one crosshair three dot c f g so it's going to be config it's going to convert this into a configure file so once you save that boom there you go that is now there it has now created the document in there so we're going to move these over here we're going to leave them open and then what we're going to do is i'm going to show you two different ways that you can do this so if you're not savvy with consoles you know just simply click on size right here and then you're just going to spam this this button right here you can either shoot it or press e on it either one works so it's basically going to expand your crosshair right so that's how that works also you can type in your console cl underscore crosshair size no spaces whatsoever and then just type in a thousand boom that's gonna shoot it across your screen and it's gonna be the same crosshair that you had before the only difference is it's gonna be perfectly across your screen so the same thing is gonna happen here we're gonna go to share crosshair it's gonna pull up your console again and as you can see right here crosshair size is at a thousand now whereas it was a much lower number before so you're gonna do the same thing here you're gonna hit control C or right click and then left click on copy and then we're gonna go back over to this text document that we had here before and you can either you can take a shortcut here and you can uh, simply just add the 1000 to it or you can just paste it in either or works just fine and there's your size right there 1000 now you're gonna do the same thing here you're gonna click save as and then you're gonna name it whatever you want what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna simply name it four, so it's not gonna be that confusing and then don't forget to change it to the all files tab here so it'll save it as a CFG so once you do that click save there you go you have now made both of yours you can get rid of this you no longer need this so you can close out of that so now we're gonna go back here and we're gonna find out where these are our configure files so we're gonna go to up to C so crosshair see I have one and two has already been made this is three and four now so we already have these two in here so you you're gonna need these don't lose those all right so now what we're gonna do 
is we're gonna bind them now I bind them to two different keys okay so we're gonna go ahead and do this we're gonna type in bind and then pick a key we'll pick uh, the P key for for our first one so we're gonna bind P and then we're gonna type in uh, quotation mark exec space and then the name of your config file so if you named it like I did crosshair 3 that's what you're gonna type in right there it's gonna be crosshair 3 and make sure you close quotes here and then press enter boom you now have your crosshair saved to that so now we're gonna bind the other one though so we're gonna go ahead while we're here bind we're gonna use the letter L for this one the key and then we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna type in exec crosshair 4 and then close quote and hit enter boom you have now cro uh, you have now freaking binded these two so if you press them this is me pressing the P key and this is me pressing the L key simple as that and that's all you need to do so once you have done that you're done you can close out of your file explorer you don't even have to restart the game none of that and next time you load in it should be the same your keys should stay binded to the crosshair that you have selected so now if you're ever lining up nades, you can freely line up nades just like that. And then simply click your other key to toggle back to your crosshair that you had before. All right, guys. Well, that is going to be it for us in this video. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this video. If you found this video helpful to you, feel free to share it with your friends and your family. Feel free to hit that like button. It lets me know that you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions or comments about the video, feel free to you know drop a comment in that comment section below. So yeah, that is going to be it for us. So again, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next one.